Yo everyone and welcome to the unveiling of the official World Whiskey Day cocktail as part of the World Whiskey Weekender. Uh, my name is Urban Trakowski, I'm Diageo's Global New Age Scott Whiskey Ambassador, looking after our incredible blended Scotch whisky such as Johnny Walker and also uh, all of our amazing iconic malt whisky brands including Singleton, Talisker. I'm sure you guys know a few more. Today I'm going to be making for you the official cocktail of World Whiskey Day as we've said uh, and it's called Sunrise Highball. This has been worked on with my friend and colleague Captain Ali Reynolds who can be found on Instagram at Ali Scotch. So the highball is a massively on-trend serve at the moment and whether you have been in any world-class bars recently you've probably seen them people using them as welcome drinks and they are popping up all over the world predominantly due to the fact that scotch whiskey has the most unrivaled flavor spectrum of any other spirit so wherever you are in the world you often find this incredible blended scotch whiskey made with malt and green whiskies from the four corners of Scotland, making its way to the four corners of the world and turning up in delicious cocktails and highballs everywhere it goes. Not only that, but more and more recently, we have seen it popping up in a lot more of the world's best home bars, hopefully like what it is this evening. So if you are making any or if you're following along, like if you've been following the social media posts on World Whiskey Day and you have the ingredients, amazing, cool, thank you for joining. If you are making any other cocktail or highball at home, and please tag me on Instagram. I love to see what everyone is up to with their wonderful Scotch whiskey. I'm at scotch.boy. Now the highball is not only on trend at the moment, but it is a massively classic serve and it has been kicking around since the 19th century. People have been putting Scotch whiskey in their highballs. Their name, no one's quite sure where it originates from. Um, I quite like the tale from Gary Reagan's Joy of Mixology, which is it refers to the railway conductor's whistle, which would be one short and one two long bursts, which kind of fits the kind of structure of the drink, which is a nice easy way to remember it. It has been a feature of blending rooms for since the days of Alexander Walker. Um, such iconic whisky such as Red Label were developed with the highball in mind. Such was its popularity that blenders would have had soda siphons in their uh, blending rooms. Okay, so this isn't a new thing. This is something that has been kicking around for a long, long time. But it is super important um, to us as an industry as it is an incredible new way, uh, new, or it's a newly fashionable way to enjoy whiskey for people that aren't maybe necessarily into Scotch whiskey. It puts Scotch whiskey in new people's hands because it's accessible, okay? We can pick any of the flavors found in this incredible blended Scotch whiskey, whether it be those incredible smoky flavors from the West Coast, from Isla, from distilleries like Kalila, whether it's the flavors like tropical fruit notes, all those dates, raisins, sultanas, through to pineapple from Klein Leash and that incredible waxy texture. In the East Coast and Space Side, you have distilleries like Cardew, uh, Johnny Walker's Space Side Home, which give you these incredible apples and pears and orchard fruit and all these kind of incredible, really clean, really fresh grassy notes. And down in the south, okay, in the lowlands, in Glen Kinchy, which is going to give you that incredible honeyed and all right through a citrus fruit note. Every one of you will pick up a completely different thing. And if you use those flavour notes that you find when you are enjoying the whiskey neat, then you will make yourself a delicious highball. Think about the flavours, think about how you pair them, think about the sodas that you've seen around, and you can make any highball in your own personal highball, which is incredible. It adds to that accessibility of this drink. Now, a highball is um, one part Scotch whiskey, two to three to four parts of what I like to call fizzy pop. This can be soda water in its true sense. It can be just carbonated water. It can be any kind of flavored soda. Today, we're gonna to use this, which is Fever Treat Italian Blood Orange Soda, which is incredible. Or you can make your own sodas if you have a drink mate or soda stream or some sort of carbonation device. The possibilities are endless. This is way more than being just a cocktail. Okay, this is a category, okay, and that is, I think, why it has become so successful. Take any Scotch whiskey and um, take any mixer and create your own serve that you can make at home with relative ease. Now, to make this drink, if you are following along at home, you will need some Johnny Walker Black Pepper Ball. Whoops. You will need this highball glass, or a glass that's kind of reasonably tall or holds about the same amount of liquid. You will need Fever Tree Orange Soda. You'll need big bit of this, an orange citrus fruit, um, and you will need some orange juice, freshly pressed orange juice, and ideally a stick blender, because we're gonna make the orange juice nice and fluffy. 
okay it's going to be added at the end as a top okay but if you are making any other highballs it'd be incredible to know what you're making and kind of what the process was behind it okay i'm going to start start with your scotch okay so we're going to add 50 mils this is quite a nice big highball glass of johnny walker black label a whiskey from the four corners of scotland it's made it to the four corners of the world and ingrained itself in culture wherever it is people will drink this with green tea in asia with coconuts coconut water in the caribbean it always finds its way into culture and into drinks and in a magical way and it's uh, it, it kind of works super well with whatever you think it matches with it's very much something that you can make your own to that we're going to add some ice okay. da, da, da. Ice always sticks together when you're recording videos. Wonder why that is. Um, next up, you're going to add your fizzy pop, your soda water. Okay, so this is Fever Tree Italian Blood Orange Soda. Now, with this, we're going to use a technique for highball that we quite often use, uh, but slightly differently. So we're not going to fill it all the way up, okay? Which is really good practice when you're doing a highball. Obviously, if you're not adding orange juice at the end, you would add a little bit more. Give it a little whiff okay and just mix all the ingredients together you don't want to stir it too hard you don't want to agitate it because you want to keep all that delicious fizz in there and then you're just going to add some more ice okay you want to be able to take your spoon and press and it not go down anywhere so lots and lots of ice final ingredient is going to be our orange juice there's no elegant way to do this on camera so we're going to take the stick bender and make the orange juice fizzy just give it a nice blend and this is going to froth it it's going to make it fall through the drink nice and elegantly and it's going to add a nice texture to the drink maybe expose i'm not sure if I'm, you can probably hear me over the blending <laughs> uh, expose some of those incredible fruity notes a lot of the freshness maybe from the north coast of scotland and from the east coast from distilleries like cardu and klein leash then um, tip I learned this downstairs earlier when you're using a top just pop your garnish in now that's your uh, orange and then you're just going to top with your fluffy orange juice hopefully this is going to stay nice about 50 mils and that will begin to fall down and look absolutely terrific um so this drink is called look at that that looks amazing on camera uh this drink is called the sunrise highball it isn't very much like a scotch drink that you've ever had before it kind of falls somewhere between like some sort of americano two seconds i'm going to taste those too mm. Mm. amazing it falls between and it kind of like americano it's almost like that garibaldi the soda is is bitter orange so it gives this incredible complexity you can see this as being um perfect like kind of as an aperitif before dinner or even kind of as a digestif to wash things down afterwards you can very much enjoy this in the sun i would say it's got that kind of good weather cocktail feel about it uh, and it is very much fresh and light and delicious and brings out some exceptional notes that you associate with johnny walker the smoke is still there comes through right at the back um, the fresh fruit is still there there's still that kind of real vanilla sweetness which kind of holds it all together and contrasts against the bitterness of the soda uh, and the kind of freshness of the orange juice um, it's delicious and most importantly it's quite unexpected because that's something that we want to be doing for our guests whether it be in one of the world-class bars that i mentioned or whether we're just having people um round to the house for a wee drink before dinner you want to create something that they haven't expected before you want to make this drink a bit of an experience and if you get handed a scotch drink that kind of rep reminiscent of maybe a, like a reverse tequila sunrise it raises an eyebrow okay it is a highball it is fresh it is fizzy it does kind of fit that massively on trend thing but it's something more than that it's elevated we've created something from ingredients that can be sourced easily at, um hopefully wherever you guys are joining from hopefully you guys have enjoyed making this along with me uh, as much as i have enjoyed making it um, if you are making it please tag world whiskey day and tag me at scotch.boy and also ali at ali scotch um, whether you're making this or whatever you are making uh, ahead of the big day tomorrow guys enjoy your world whiskey day and cheers
Yo, one more thing. Um, so if you're looking for some delicious entertainment and tastings to wash down with your incredible official World Whiskey Day cocktail, I'd suggest making yourself another one around half past six tomorrow and joining me for our first um, of three live events. The first will be four stories from the four corners, focusing in on the constitute malts which make up Johnny Walker Black Label. So we'll be travelling to Kalila, um, to Cardu, to Kleinleash and Glen Kinchy. And also uh, we'll have ambassadors from Australia, Argentina, Edinburgh and London discussing how they like to enjoy these single malt whiskies and also sharing some of their favourite stories from the distilleries and from their countries. Next up at 8 o'clock, myself and Ewan will be going round Scotland as part of our Scotch Tapes live tasting. Uh, I think we're going to five distilleries in an hour, including distilleries like Mortlach, uh, the Singleton of Dufton, the Singleton of Glenord and Talisker, which is pretty exciting. Finally, we have our main event the main live tasting where myself and Emma Walker will be taking a look at making highballs um, from a blender's perspective, using how they analyse flavour um, to make delicious highballs and then give you a little bit of a tasting with a master blender of Johnny Walker Red black, gold and blue. So if you have any of those whiskies for any of the tastings, please join us. Um, we would absolutely love to see you. Uh, hopefully see you all tomorrow. Bye. Actually this time.